Hello, Lego lovers. This is L, and this is a big Lego Dreams set review. This is the Fantastical Treehouse set number 71461. It has around 1,257 pieces, and as you can see, it's basically like a treehouse. This is how big it is. It is actually bigger than I initially thought it was, and as you can see from how the sizing here, it's it's really big, and I had to finagle my phone to get this to actually record. But you can see from a distance, and we'll go in closer a little bit, but I just wanted you to see how big it actually looks. Um, it's really colorful. I think that's one of my favorite parts is how colorful it is. You can spin it around here, and you'll see that they have interior. So it is kind of half of a tree. So it might not look as good from the outside, but it is still a really cool, big, magnificent, creative and colorful tree, which I love instead of, you know, your boring green trees. We have blue leaves all over, which I think is really cool. But we're going to start at the bottom level and work our way up. All right, so here we are at kind of the bottom two levels. And down here we have a mushroom vendor, which I'm not exactly sure why he's selling mushrooms because he is a mushroom person. I love this print, which is new for dreams. Just a really cool print. And then these weird dudes' bodies are still really cool too. Um, you get one of those in this set, only one, and he's got basically a stand where he's selling potions and mushrooms. You can kind of see from the side a little bit better that he's got some stuff back down there. This is a sticker sign that has prices, and we have just a little flag which has a sticker on both sides kind of saying it's good for uh, dream chasers. And then we also have another sign up here, which is like Mushroom Vendor, which I kind of like how they do the whole like arrow thing. And again, that is a sticker, but it is on one of those cool kind of oval type pieces. Now we have different rock kind of formations, building of roots. Love how they do get the shaping down. It's not perfect, but it is wonderful. Um, you could place figures there if you want, of course. And then we have this evil mushroom which again has another wonderful print. I love the mushroom print going on here. We got this vibrant coral like flower and then of course it has evil teeth and mouth and you can see it's kind of built up to be like the bad guys down here. Also you have different street signs which I'm not exactly sure how they correlate and that is Lucid Lane and again that is a sticker. You can see some more mushrooms and paint stuff down here. Not too spectacular. There's a lot of paint stuff, a little excessive. And of course we have a swing, which I think is just kind of a cool little addition. And here we have basically your first floor up here. Um, you can use this as a ladder to get up if you want or as a railing. And again, there's more paint stuff. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be a graffiti sub theme or something. And then you have your... You'll have Snoo Street here. Again, not really sure of the correlation. We do have this nice dark red door here that opens up, and there is detail in the back, which we will check out. Another sign, which doesn't really make sense to me. Um, so that's pretty much the front of it. Love how they do these windows. It really fits. One thing I don't like is how they do some of the windows, where like you have bricks behind there, and it makes it look not really as good. But let's take a look at the back. So down in the back here, you basically have an oven. So there's you can barely tell, but there's some flame parts under there. We get some of these neat cookies, the newer cookies, um, almost Christmas colored actually. Um, really nice print, and you get four of them in an extra. And basically this is supposed to be a pan that you can actually stick in the oven here if you want, which, eh. It doesn't really stay very well in there. It's only like halfway in, which is kind of unfortunate. But they do have piping that actually goes up there, and you can kind of see where it would come out. The second level here is the entrance where the door is, which I'll pop that open for a little more light. And nothing too special. I assume that's supposed to be a TV with a bunch of bunny on it. And then you just have a couch, which is fairly easy to remove which can be a bonus or a minus. 
Um, you do have ladders kind of going up the different levels. But let's take a look at our next level. So here we go up into basically where they have their rooms, I guess you could say. I'm assuming this one's easy, and now it is easy to take off. You just kind of had to pull a clip out here, and you can see you have it. Now, there's two different ways to build, basically, the rooms. So that's your switch up. Um, basically, one is more like relaxing time, which is what I went for. It was the first one. You have this cool sign saying, this is Izzy's. And two balloons, random fence kind of awkwardly here, and some fencing up there, which is actually a little better. But in here, there's really just a cupcake and a hat. Really not a fan of these little builds. I, I don't get them. They're really kind of janky, in my opinion. Um, the other build for it has, like, missiles that fire out. It's basically, like, relaxing time and battle time. But, yeah, these rooms are kind of basic. And as you can see again back here, you have kind of a weird windowing effect, which I'm not a big fan of. This is a little cool bird built up that they have right here, which is really cool. Again, this is stickers, more time, dream chaser type things. We have dream drive. This is clearly Mateo's treehouse part. And again, it can be taken off just like the other ones. And I do kind of like the build here to make it look like there's a slime. Um, otherwise, it's really just detail. I think that's supposed to be a smokestack or something i'm not 100 percent sure but those are stud shooters that you can use in a different way do kind of like the whole sliming effect i'm kind of disappointed these don't have like a bright green um, window thing there i think that would have been really cool and apparently a lot of spray cans up here and sleep spray painted on a sticker back there this is also a sticker and other than that it's pretty boring as before and then again, you can see how the window is up there, but let's take a look at the back. So again, they have both of their own rooms. You can see clearly this is Izzy's. She has, if I can tip this a little bit without tipping it, you can see there's a little bed right there and apparently a pizza right next to there. Kind of cool stickers, a bunch of bunny and a little lamp, which is not anything special. And then we have Mateo's room, which apparently he sleeps with spray paint. Probably not a good idea. And again, another sticker for the bed and sticker for Z-Blob action adventure. Maybe it's a scene from a comic book. And then on the top, we have quite a bit actually going on up here. You can tell how tall it is by how I have to finagle my camera. More spray paints. This back here is actually like a spyglass. And then, of course, all the way up here, you have like a little crow's nest and again the flags are stickers and then on the other side we have i forget her name but i think they changed her in the show sorry for spoilers but she has a little area which is a donut shop i think you can see that sticker there not too much going on up here but you can use this to put a disc in a two by two and use this lever to shoot it up i guess you're toasting a bagel maybe i don't know i'm not a big fan of these these little area builds and then again blank apparently siesta avenue but uh still kind of cool look you got a sleep sticker with an arrow so that's the main build so i'm going to kind of talk about the main build a little bit before i go into the figures and as you can see, this is how it looks without the um, rooms on it, which I don't think is too bad besides where they have the windowing. And I have to say, like, I'm guessing, I don't know what their plan was with the windowing because you can kind of see that there's brick built behind there. If it was just to expand the building, make it look like there's windows or areas to go through or something, but it kind of is deterring. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like that part. It's one of the negatives of the set, although the giant tree and everything is cool. The cutouts are very small, but I mean, you expect that from what's probably a play set. Um, the branches and like these are wild and crazy. I don't know if this is supposed to be like certain vines hanging down or a gigantic fruit, but I just love that. I'm not a big fan of blue, but this blue really pops with the contrast of the brown 
Um, it's really cool. I really like that. Um, so the tree I really enjoyed building, and like I said, it is bigger than I thought it was. Um, but let's take a look at our figures and such. All right, here we have our first figure. Um, this one's very unique. It's a very different part used for the body than your normal minifigures. Um, first up, let's talk about this kind of cool time staff type thing. Um, I don't remember this character's name, but I know she runs like a food truck. Um, but that's kind of just a cool, simple little build for a staff. So her arms kind of fit in like the um, Super Mario Brother arms. So they just kind of pop in there. And as you can see, it's kind of like a built up skirt part. Um, and kind of a nice print in the back, not or in the front, super detailed. You, she has a elderly face, which just looks super happy and cool with that white hair. And then if we spin her to the back, you have basically like, there's a two by two plate almost effectively there. And that is built up to look like a backpack, which is really weird and interesting. I don't know why she has the biggest backpack in the world, but you can see she has a back face print, which is just kind of more of a closed mouth, still happy. Um, really neat figure. Um, and just weird how, I mean, obviously the wrists don't move, but you can see how it pops off right there. Just really weird. I don't know if they're going to use it in the future. Maybe it'll have use for a weirder theme or something like that, if there is a thing. But that's just a really cool little figure we got there. And then we'll go to this, which is not really a figure as much. So this is your mail bot, I guess. Um, you have the thing to note when there's mail or not mail. I love the print for the eyes. I think it's really cool. You get a mail, and he even has arms and just kind of some other whirly gigs back there. And, of course, you can open it up, and he will spit out his mail, which also has <laughs> makes it look like a really silly face. Just a cool little brick-built figure that I really like. Um, and, of course, Mateo's buddy here, real simple one is Z Blob. He comes with this part that he can basically, I assume, slime out and like grab onto things. But as you can see, he has like a slime covering on him. Um, so that can go on any minifigure head. And then under that is just a green minifigure head with two black eyes. And the back has nothing. He doesn't have a mouth. He doesn't talk. Mateo didn't draw that in, um, and of course his hands can undersling some bars like he's holding them in his shoulder, and just sits on one stud there. Other heroes we have, speaking of Mateo. So Mateo has some wonderful prints here, I have to say, and you can just see how that torso is so cool. The boots, the shoes, it's really awesome. Even the jean detailing, the stitching on the pockets belt on that line it's really great print and of course he comes with like his pencil staff or spear or whatnot um he does have a kind of characterful green cloak it's not standard you can see it has kind of a cool cut to it um his hair also you can kind of barely see it there but it has a little green there and one of his eyes is green kind of representing his superpower he also has i'm probably gonna butcher it but vitiligo which is like a um skin thing where you have two different colors or different color i don't know a whole lot about it but i think it's cool that they're showing diversity because people exist and they are different simple thing and of course on this side he's got a wild smile um, and again, that eye is green like that. Um, maybe his connection to Z Blob, he looks at it, you know, as a cool little thing. And actually, we'll take a look at that back print because it is really awesome and ridiculous. Um, dual molded legs, which is great. Of course, the belt part. Everything is just so prime. I don't even know how to put it into words, but just so good. It's crisp and everything. And this is Izzy. She'll stand there. Um, probably my favorite character, and you'll probably guess for a couple reasons. One, we got awesome prints and such going on here. She has this lovely sword, which is a dual molded in that pearl gold and then that dark blue. You can put one stud there, but it's kind of bulky. I kind of wish they just got rid of it and didn't put anything there. She has those uh, lavender shoulder pads, which are really cool. A cute face print. Fantastic hair. I love it. Um, the only thing is, I guess, it, it kind of shows through her head a little bit. 
but whatever, it's still cool. She does come with a little skirt piece, nothing too special. Awesome printing on the back of the figure as well, and a cute little smirk. Just a wonderful figure. I just love these figures, especially Izzy. Izzy's probably my favorite. And now let's get to the bad guys, which are really, really ridiculous. I don't know. I think this is Snivel. I'm not 100% sure. But you can see he uses that, that body. Um, yep, it's a little small. It's really creepy. It's got an eye on it. Not sure if that's a real eye or just a picture. But he does come with a little spear and some shoulder pads, which I think is kind of cute. <laughs> Maybe not cute. His face is one of those new big mega heads. It fits on a minifigure head just like usual, but it's a lot bigger. Has this cool black part up here, which is super useful with that pink flame to represent kind of hair. No printing on the back at all, but just a wild crazy bad guy, which I'm super into that. Then we have like the second in command, which I don't remember his name, unfortunately. But he has a really nasty, like, crossbow, which they have built up here pretty nice. And it does have, like, a weird eye <clears throat> to look through. Um, that is a print, and you do get an extra one. Really cool print. And then, of course, we gotta take a look at this sweet torso printing going on here. We can kind of see it a little better up close here. And it is just crazy. Again, just like all the other figures, you can look all the way down. He does have one gray hand. Um... <clears throat> the eye print isn't too special going on there, but the hat, that is just crazy. Um, doesn't have a connection up there, but you can kind of put stuff up there. It will not connect or anything, but that is a crazy hat. And we're going to pop that off, and you can see that he has this sweet, like, scarf thing. And it is kind of like rubber, so you can kind of flex it, bend it, which is good so it doesn't snap. Um, and you can even see, like, stitching detail on there, and even cool print on the back. Um, I love these little, like, I don't know, these little pieces are so cool. Um, I just, I don't know, these figures are incredibly awesome. So, besides all those bad guy figures, we also have, like, <clears throat> a bad guy build, which is this guy. So, he is a cage. And basically, there's one cool thing, well, a million cool things about this. So for one, this is a print. This right here is a print. And it does have moving, so you can move it a little bit. A little weird. You get these new, like, pieces that are used for tails. Comes with these wings. Super mobile. And he also has super mobile hands, or movable hands. And it's really simple. It's just one ball point. Ugh ball connection with the um curved piece in black and it just looks so menacing um you could probably make this a lot better um if you made the middle different he's got these kind of stubby feet but they work and they're built really well they look like evil clawed feet it's got a lock there which is a little weird that someone can open them up um and technically you can sit a figure up here if you want to even do that um, just a really cool side build. I love the techniques used here. Um, and there's so much posability. It's kind of crazy for like a weird little side build. And of course you can fit like a minifigure and they're kind of sitting down, I think. Um, but just really, I don't know. I really like this bad guy build. Um, usually I'm not a fan of bad guy builds and especially kind of looks a little weird, but like just the claws and everything and the colors, it just pops. Um, I just love it. But we got to think about our whole entire set here, as you can see. So overall, this set is kind of expensive, retailing for about $110 in the U.S. However, I will say it's a big one. It's not small. There are literally so many little things in here that are just cool. Um, the tree just itself, you could leave like that, maybe do your own stuff, take off all the stickers and signs and stuff, and kind of just have it as a regular tree look, at least. Um, definitely a great set to get and build off of. I think that's really cool. I'm disappointed in the rooms. Um, even the other rooms are not much better. Um, if you look in the instructions, there's two different rooms. The figures, 
They're they're fantastic. I love the Evil Guy side build. We get a lot of unique colors and parts from these things and just brown stuff for trees. It's just fantastic. So whereas this set might be a little expensive, I do kind of think it's worth it. You get a lot here. Um, and it's a cool looking set. I love this set. I kind of love the Dreams line. I wish it was mini dolls, of course. Just because I want more mini dolls. But the mini figures are excellent. And like I said, a couple minor qualms with the buildings, which since it's kind of easy, you can make your own and just clip them in there or redesign the whole thing because that's great. You can do that with Lego. But other than that, I want to say this is a really cool looking set, a really awesome set. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gives you some insight into if you want to buy this set or not. And hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you'll check out more of my other videos. Thanks again for watching.